Hey, you've got your cool iPhone, it takes great pictures, but when you try to share those pictures with your friends that have Android, or you try to send those pictures to somebody who's using Windows on a laptop or a desktop, they struggle to open that file. It's not readable. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the settings in your phone and or make it very easy for your friends to see your photographs, and it's gonna start right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour. I own a photography studio in Sacramento, California, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to change the settings in your phone, not only to make it more efficient to store files, but also so that those pictures that you're taking with your camera, you can send to your friends that are using Android or Windows-based PC, desktop or laptop, doesn't really matter, but what they get when you send that file is they get an error because they can't open the file. The reason why is because Apple now uses a file format called HEIC, which stands for High Efficiency Image File Format. I hope I got all that right. Thank you very much, I nailed that. Bam! <laughs> yes, it's a more efficient way of storing images on your phone. It takes less battery, it takes less storage, but it's not compatible with Windows, and it's not compatible with Android as of right now. So how are you gonna fix that? Because really it's you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it's you. There's a lot of different ways to fix that and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. If you're a Windows user, the first thing that you can do is you can go to the Microsoft Store and you can download what's called HEIF image extensions. It's essentially a file that you upload to your operating system and Windows will install it and should convert these files when they come in. There's a lot of other third-party programs that will allow your laptop and your desktop to read the HEIC format. This is from Windows, you may as well try it out. But I'm gonna suggest that those of you with an iPhone, that you make some changes in your settings and that makes it much easier on the world around you. Okay, I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can make your iPhone more compatible with the outside world. So when you send an image to somebody who has an Android or maybe a Windows-based computer, they're gonna be able to look at that image just as if this didn't even exist. So the first thing I want you to do is click on settings, and once you get on settings, scroll all the way down until you get to photos. Click on Photos and scroll to the bottom of Photos. You'll see that it's probably either checked Automatic or it's checked Keep Originals. So what I would do is instead of it having Keep Originals, which means when I send out an email that has an HEIC file format that was taken by my iPhone, it's going to keep that format even if I send that to somebody that's using Windows or Android. I don't want that. I want my phone to convert it so that they can actually see it on their phone or on their computer or laptop, desktop, whatever. So go ahead and do automatic. And what automatic does is it automatically transfers photos and videos in a compatible format says that right down there at the very bottom, just in case you're a little curious or you're thinking maybe you're changing something that shouldn't be changed. All that's gonna happen is when I take a photo with my phone and I send it to somebody, my phone is gonna convert it to a file format that's very compatible. So if it's transferring to a Mac, it probably is going to keep the HEIC format. If you're emailing it, it's probably going to convert it to a JPEG. Your phone becomes very compatible when you do that because it will go ahead and send the most compatible file. Why would you wanna leave it like this? Because you're storing things as a HEIC format, which is a better, less, large file format, doesn't take up as much memory in your phone, but with automatic checked, when you send it out to other people, it's going to pick the most compatible file format. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can actually take your pictures in the old school JPEG format instead of taking your pictures in this higher efficiency format. I personally 
use this setting because I just don't want to deal with it. No matter whether I'm exporting, importing, whatever, I just don't want to deal with it. I want the picture to be in the older format. I have thousands of pictures on my phone and I have yet to run out of any memory. So keep that in mind. If you're running out of memory, you can switch to the higher efficiency format and let the phone decide what kind of compatible format to send out. But I personally like this method. So what I do is I go to settings and we're gonna scroll down right around where we were before, next to photos, and we're gonna click on camera. Click on formats. And you'll see that my phone is set up right now with high efficiency. That means it's going to use the highest efficiency format it can, which happens to be the HEIC that Android and Windows users cannot view without some tricks. I don't want them to have to worry about tricks. So what I do is I click on most compatible. Most compatible is going to use the older format, which might take up a little bit more memory in your phone, but literally if you're not storing a bunch of video and a bunch of photos, you probably don't have anything to worry about. But most compatible is going to take the picture in the old format. It's not even gonna try and use the new higher efficiency format. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click back on camera and go back out to your desktop. What the heck is this quote? Go back out to your main screen on your phone. And now when you go to take a picture, your phone will go ahead and take it as a JPEG and won't even try the higher efficiency format. That's what I personally use because I don't want to put the burden on other people to have to convert the file or to even have to worry about it at all. I also don't want to have the phone make the decision for me as to whether or not it's going to send a compatible file or it's not going to send a compatible file. To me, that just causes more heartache. For those of us that are taking lots of photos and people that are using your phone as a scanner, people that are doing all kinds of different things with the image capabilities of these phones, you're going to find that keeping it simple is probably the best way to do it. Okay, well, I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button down below. Please subscribe if you want more of this kind of content and you can hit the bell notification that will give you a notification the next time I have a video out. There's going to be a lot more stuff like this, photography and tech on this channel. So I welcome you to join me by hitting that subscribe button. Hey, until we see each other in the next video, be compatible with the world and keep it simple, my friend. Until I see you on the next time. <laughs> Until I see you on the next time. Why? I always have something like that. Okay, start that whole thing over. Oh my god. I've lost my mind. It's gone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> How is it that I can sit down at this kind of thing? I sit down to do my videos and I'm kind of, you know, I'm a pretty regular guy. So I'm, I'm kind of up most of the time. But I'm not like dingy. But I sit down and I film myself for five minutes and all of a sudden I'm laughing at myself. I'm like, what the heck? Where did I come up with that? Woo! <laughs> I need to find a new drug. <laughs>